All right, time for today's three stock lunch. A little twist on the uh, theme here today. It is a Fed theme. We've got uh, an investment for three scenarios. One, if the Fed pauses tomorrow, uh, we have the S&P Home Builders Index. Second, J.P. Morgan, if the Fed hikes. And third, NVIDIA, we've been talking a little bit about that, if the Fed hikes, but the statement hints at a pause in the future. To handle this incredibly complex assignment, we've invited in Boris Schlossberg, BK Asset Management, Managing Director of FX Strategy and a CNBC. No one could could get his head around this complexity. It sounds like Mission Impossible. I'm ready to be like Tom Cruise in MI7 here. All right, here we go. Let's go number one. The Fed pauses... Uh, and you uh, raised the idea of XHB, the Home Builders yes. Index. Yes, because I think obviously, you know, the Home Builders Index, very, very sensitive to interest rates. That gives it a lot of tailwind behind it. As the story, as Diana just reported in the story, housing is, you know, rising up because even though affordability has really, really gotten much worse. Inventory is just not there. Demand is still very, very strong for housing. And if you can just ease affordability a little bit, I think it's just going to create like a ball underwater. It's going to really pop it. Also, all the builders are seeing much, much better supply chain issues now. So that really also provides them with much better um, incentives to um, uh, to go forward. So I think you don't need to be a hero. Just just buy the index. I think it'll do very well in a, in a pause scenario. Well, I like this is a clever three sack lunch. All right. So if the Fed hikes, Boris, <laughs> then you turn to J.P. Morgan. Yes. So if the Fed hikes and sort of stays the course, which is the most hawkish scenario of all, in other words, Jay Powell gives no, you know, no, 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 no corner here, and he basically says we're going to focus on inflation. That basically suggests a couple of things. One, we're obviously going to have contraction, you know, in the economy. The yield curve probably should should tighten at this point uh, because he's clearly concerned that inflationary pressures are, are are going forward, and that creates a very defensive situation. There's no better defense than J.P. Morgan Chase. It's a three and a half percent yield. It's you know the stellar a bank. Everybody is putting their money into it now because as 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 a you know uh, way of safety. And of course, as a result of it, they're going to make more money on trading and services. It's just sort of, you know, uh, money goes to, uh, to to the best. So to me, J.P. Morgan Chase is a great defensive play. Um, I love the stock. And scenario number three, Fed hikes like a fledgling hawk, but talks like <laughs> yeah. a little dove. Like, like a dove, right. In other words, where he hikes and he sort of makes it pretty clear that this could be very close to terminal rate, which is probably the most likely scenario. Um, I think that, of course, yes, it's very positive for all tech because tech is obviously starved. Um, every time interest rates go up, tech just goes down because of valuation. Now, NVIDIA, to me, is a very interesting story on tech because it's sky-high valuation. But if, if he does pretty much brings the rates to a terminal rate, that means valuation concerns are going to come down. And as you guys reported, they are really at the forefront of AI right now. Now, the negative story on NVIDIA is that there's other people getting into the AI space, but I think people utterly underestimate first mover advantage. They really have the first mover advantage in this space. And if we all believe that AI could be an iPhone moment, then you have to bet on NVIDIA going forward. Well, that's what the CEO said just a few minutes ago on our yeah. air. You probably heard. Uh, Boris, great to I see did. you, my friend. Thank you.